students welcome to short resource classes this video is on jam 2017 i'll be solving the questions one after another and possibly i will be giving you all the 60 questions in this youtube videos so let's start with the first question so what they have given is f of x y is 5 minus 4 sin x plus y square where 0 lies between x lies between 0 and 2 and y is a real number so, so the set of critical points which comes to solve remember that this critical point is actually divided into two parts one is maximum point and the second is minimum point okay let's just reduce this point size over here yeah that would be that would be nice okay now while solving the question so we had given four options like local maxima and local minima saddle point okay and uh, mostly are with three things local max local mean and saddle point they haven't given point of inflection which is actually mean the point at which the power of change is curvature so here possibly we don't have a point it always look like a fur of hindi Okay, so now let's solve the question. So here in this kind of questions, first we need to find out f of x. So first of all, partial derivative. I hope you know it. From my past videos, you can take a look into So this is 4 cos x and that is equal to 0. So obviously from this we can write x equal to pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2. So at this point, this 0 is occurring. This part is done going to fy similarly this will happen so this will only be derivated so 2y equal to 0 which gives us y equal to 0 so the critical points are these two and these two so pi by 2 comma 0 and 3 pi by 2 comma 0 so now if we go for double derivative okay so let me allow which uh, color so fxx so what is happening with fxx it's simply for sine x again and if yy is 2 and if xy is 0. So now if we put that in the equation, now remember that you have to remember this equation. This is very important. So this will be h sin x which is positive at pi by 2 comma 0. And uh, if x is also positive, so according to the formula we can say the point is local minima okay now if we again put the values of this structure h sin x if we put it as 3 pi by 2 comma 0 at this particular point then we are getting it as negative okay so whenever this second order derivative function is negative this has a saddle point so simply option d is our correct option where they are talking about the saddle point and the local minima now let's go to the next question this question is on the basis of differentiable function okay so this one is about a differentiable function okay such so that uh, this is strictly increasing at one and let alpha and beta denote the minimum and maximum point of values in the interval respectively then which one is true now the problem with this kind of question is these are, are very relatively seems to be like a hebrew what is what they're saying actually why not understanding okay mujhe itna kyu problem ho raha is so this is the trick so like this kind of stuff this makes you a little bit nervous when i was a student i also felt a lot of nervousness in normal so in order to solve this uh, we have this phi here is strictly increasing function okay so now this is a strictly increasing function that is given and uh, this phi dash one is zero so therefore phi dash x is positive for all values of x within this interval 2 to 3 okay now here for any particular values within 2 to 3 so we can put phi x equal to 0 
So now phi x cannot attain maximum minimum point or minimum value at any point lie between 2 to 3. So within 2 to 3, no max or no minimum point. Okay. So now this is very important to remember. Okay. Now, so if we proceed into this pattern, so phi x attain, so it's not happening within these two, so phi x attain max plus minima value either at 2 or 3 either 2 or 3 so phi dash x greater than 0 for all values 2 3 okay so hence phi 3 is maximum and phi 2 is minimum value so if we take a look into this then the only possible option correct is this okay so rest of the thing in my next video thank you